What up? Here we go. Mm-hmm. What's happening? Just got off with Leif, Echelon Front partner, and then just talked to Pete. I said, let's just debrief what's going on. <laughs> right? I just threw this on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, man, what an amazing week. Yeah. That's uh, truly, you know, just so impressed with with what with what you pulled off up there at Origin and what the team has pulled off, yeah, just they've... amazing, amazing. If you know, I haven't I haven't been talking about this very much because I know that we wanted to get as many customers, especially you know the healthcare and and whatnot, taken care of first, and yeah. and I didn't want to put too much pressure on on you guys up there to get these things made, but. Now it seems like you found some stride, so uh, it's it's a story, man. It's a story. It's, it's wild, and uh, you know what's funny is we were actually filming last night for the for the documentary, which we 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 can't really talk about yet. But we're a year in, and holy shit, we we filmed in in downtown uh, Farmington, and it was just like bare and eerie, and all these old brick buildings from the eighteen hundreds. It was it was wild. That's actually what we were just working on. And we captured the team just as this thing ramped up, we shut the looms down and we yeah. retooled everything and moved the machines around. So Yeah, if anybody so, yeah. if anybody missed the first part of this story, I'll recap it real quick. Yeah. Uh, right in right as the coronavirus started hitting. Well actually before it hit, I had a couple friends that said, Hey, you should start making masks and you know, you at origin and I said, You know what? And so I talked to Pete and we discussed it very briefly. And you kind of came up with a basic plan, like what it would take. And then all of a sudden, the government started saying, hey, masks don't do anything. And right. I said, hey, I don't want to be part of something that doesn't work, right? right? Well, then fast forward, like literally four or five days, and all of a sudden, the government was saying, like during press conferences, we need masks. And if you don't have a mask, then make one with a T-shirt <laughs> or with a bandana. And I'm thinking, okay, well, yeah. so we got back on the phone and you just started you know, you started hauling your brain around. You're sending me pic You're sending me videos. You know, every day when I wake up at 4:30, since you're on the East Coast, I got three videos from Pete show showing me different. Matters. I wake up. I videos. wake up earlier than Jocko every day. <laughs> yeah, you got that time zone. But, yeah, uh, we got that. <laughs> but then, but anyways, you came up with a great. You know, this is this is the mask, and and what makes it cool and unique is um, that it's got it's got like a pocket inside that you can put up. A more a stronger filter and and you can use all there's all kinds of products that you can use to put in there you can put in uh, vacuum bags you can put in sort of uh, like industrial like like air filters that you would use in, a, in in your house for your air conditioning or whatever all kinds of things you can stuff in there or you can just stuff a t-shirt in there or whatever and it's it's gonna give you some level of protection against you know absorbing bad things so and, bro, and this bro. is not this is not coming from dr jocko this is coming from the <laughs> from you know our our government that is trying to advise us on things that'll help so that's the yeah. backstory and then pete and the team at origin and the incredible just just hard-working americans up yeah. there have just been crushing and you've done a great job putting those stories up i know ty has been you know filming it looks awesome everyone should go watch those stories they're phenomenal to see and uh, yeah, so check it out. That's so that's where we were on Monday. You started cranking, and, and tell us about tell us about the week, bro. Yeah, so I mean, it was we worked all weekend. We were going back and forth all weekend, and you know, just trying to come up with this design, bro. You look like Rambo right now. You need a couple of knives or something. So we were, you know, it's just honestly like Amanda, my wife Amanda. Um, she was telling me last week like you gotta you gotta come up with something that basically like no one's thought of yet she's like you gotta there's there's an angle and no pressure i was like yeah no pressure right she, here, here's a, here's a woman bro did i ever tell you i when i lost in this in the in the in the quarterfinals or yeah quarterfinals of the world championships she wouldn't even talk to me she's Respect. like you 
you said you were going to win and you didn't. Respect. So that's, that's the type of wife I have, right? Like, uh, so she's like, you need, you know, you guys got to figure something out that that's different, that's needed. And so we did, you know, we, we figured out this, what can we make that, because not everybody has a sewing machine at home. Not everybody knows how to sew and but everybody has a pair of scissors at home. Right. And everybody has uh, some type of materials, whether it's a coffee filter or vacuum bags or T-shirts, like everybody has that. And there's different levels of filtration. So we came up with this thing, the death mask, the defense mask for, for, for that. Bro, this thing went Richter this week. We are, we're, we, we made 12,000. I mean, going from design to retooling Monday morning, like 40, 45 minutes, move machine around and start making. So, so. Uh, are you try what, what's the order numbers look like right now? We're well over 16,000. We're probably creeping on 20,000 orders. Okay. That's cool because yep. I've got probably another, I would say, four to 6,000 of people that have hit me up. And I know I sent you one individual yep. today that th there's going to be some, it's going to be some, those, those numbers are just going to continue to climb. Yep. And, and just so people know, yes, we're also donating a lot of masks. So um, we're making a lot of masks where we've got, we put out a request form and we received 7,000 requests for donations. So we, mon Monday, we made, Set, like Monday morning, the, the team didn't even know what was happening. I came in, I was like, here it is. I put it on the table. I said, we need this and this. I said, I don't know what we have in storage, but I know what we have on the floor. Uh, we need to shut down the ghee line. The ghee line just completely shut down making ghees and, and ghee pants. Joe and Bill, they went over, they went came to the storage facility. We, we moved a bunch of machines around, retooled, built out the workflow. Everybody started, sat down and started working. First day we did 780, second day we did 990, then it was like 3,000, you know, 3,100, 3,200, and we just started cranky, bro. It's like, it's ma it's absolute madness, and, but, it, but it's awesome. I did, I did have my daughter in there stitching. I got in, I got in trouble today from the Department of Labor. I thought it, I thought. Yeah, Are you I serious? It, yeah, yeah, bro. I had a whole thing today with the Department of Labor, and, but the, you want to hear something how did they cool? know? How did they know your daughter was in stitching? Well, we posted that video yesterday, which now is deleted. The video and Chloe was stitching on it, and she was sewing. She's fourteen years old, and she's yeah. sewing. And and so and and Nicole's kids were there because we're not. They don't want to be home on the on their screen. So she had them at the factory, and they were packing the masks. Yeah. Right? just like little little hands in daylight action there. So, anyways, so she was trying to get a hold of me all day long. Then they sent a cop over, <laughs> and, and the cop then the cop called me. And he's like, hey, Pete, I'm like, what? He's like, I'm so sorry I got to make this call. And he's one of my jujitsu students, you know what I mean? He's like, I'm, I have to do this, though. So I, I called the, the, the lady back, and she's like, she gave me the whole spiel, and she's like, you just, you can't have him there. But she's like, but we're so proud of you guys. We're so stoked on what you're doing. We really appreciate it. So they were they were really nice. But um, Wow. It was, yeah, it was funny. I, so what about the law? I thought that the law in, in Maine was that you could work. It, 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 if you read the law, it says that, that it, the law says if you are owner of a company, your kids can work in the company, uh, I think, over 12 years of age, even in, in manufacturing. So I guess I was wrong. So yeah, I well, even, I, you can read the law online. We looked it up. I, and it how, come I was, how come I was washing dishes when I was 13 years old in restaurants in Maine? I, dude, I don't even get me started. Did you ever hear that story? Did you ever hear no, that story? No, tell me. Tell me. So I was like 13 years old. I'm working in a, at a restaurant down in Kennebunk. Kennebunk, and, Maine. Yeah. And this, <laughs> there was this girl. She was Scottish. And so she was probably like 17 or 18, you know. And she was, she had a, she had a Scottish accent and, you know, it sounded really cool. Yeah. And she, <laughs> she was real pretty too. And, but, you know, she was like an 18 year old, you know, you know, young woman. And you were and I was I was 13, but man, <laughs> you know, I was looking at her like, hey. And so finally one day I said, you know, and I'm back there at the dishwasher, you know, like the lowest, uh, the lowest, the the lowest ranking guy yeah. and the youngest guy. And this girl, her name was Rosalind. Hmm. And um, that's a cool name. And I said, I said, hey, Rosalind. And she's like, yeah. And I said, you know, would you, do you want to like maybe go see a movie or something with me tonight? You know, and she goes, 
how old are you? And I was like, 13. What? <laughs> and then she goes, she goes, Jocko, you have a serious mental problem. <laughs> that was that, man. No good. No good. No Rosalind for Jocko. But uh, I know she's over in Scotland probably to this day. And, you know, anyways, cheers, Rosalind. Really I, ended up married a Br I didn't, ended up marrying a British woman instead who has an equally, uh, equally lovely accent. Yes. So. Yeah. Anyway, man, it's been. And I know you guys were making the uh, Rosie the Riveter. Um, yeah, those are cool. And that this morning. And you see all, all the all the girls up there just hammering. Yeah, to see your father-in-law Joe hammering. To see your fourteen-year-old daughter. <laughs> That's right, cranking. Yeah, cranking. they've been. I can't believe. I thought Joe was like he sat down to stitch, and I was like, ah, oh, this is gonna last about ten minutes. Bro, he sat there all day long. And then he came back and did it all again, and I was like. All right. That is like, it actually motivated me. You know what I mean? I, I'm like, I'm willing to do anything like I'm whatever. But then I see him doing that. And I was like, there's things, there's things I could be doing more. Actually. There's actually, I, I, you know what I mean? Like I do a lot of walking around. And so it, it actually motivated me to, to get my hands on a little bit more, which, which I did today. You know, so. I'll close out with saying this, you know, like, um, I got to tell you a story though today. Okay. You tell me your story. Out. And then I'll, then I'll, then I'll, so, so dude, we're, we're, we're there today and somebody shows up in a truck and he's got a testing kit in the back of his truck. He came up to pick up masks and he wanted to test the efficacy of the masks. So, and you'll see this on today's uh, video, Ty releases. He's literally, cause nobody's allowed the factory. He's in the back of the truck. It's cold outside. He's in the back of his truck. And he's got like this kid open and he's the respiratory guy for like the EMS system in Portland or something. But this is what he does respiratory. And he's, he's checking the seal and everything. And I'm like, Oh, this could go, this could go really good or it could go really bad. You know what I mean? But you know, we know we can design good stuff and we've got great textiles. So he tested a bunch of materials and then he put four coffee filters in and he literally smoked his face and dude, it was beautiful. <laughs> like, he's like, this is, this is for real. Like four coffee filters inside the pocket. There's complete seal. And he was like smoking out his face and good to what's, go. So what's the, te does he have a, like, a, is there, does it give it's, you a reading? Um, no. So this is a, this is a testing kit. It'll make you cough if anything escapes into your, into your, into your lungs so you're you're breathing in through this thing it's like a little uh looks like kind of a uh you know the little pumps uh, you go to the doctors and they pump your arm up with that thing yep. it's like that with his tube and there's smoke and he pumps the smoke like this into his face and he's pumping pumping breathing in i mean you thought we were probably like doing drugs back here, there in the back of the truck we're all huddled around the truck and he's he's got the visor up and we're like peeking in but we're like six feet away you know social distancing <laughs> it was it was wild man and I just looked at the guy and I was like, this is a wild time, man. Like, so we're was, out here. What did he say about it? Then what was his verdict? He said, he was like, this is awesome. Like, the mask is awesome and it, it allows the opportunity for people to, to use household items. He said a t-shirt does not work as good as a, as a coffee filter. And then there's a um, vacuum bag, maybe? Yeah, vacuum half a bag. vacuum bag. Half a vacuum yeah. bag. Yeah, that worked out really good. So we're, it'll it'll be on today's epi episode that Ty puts together. Uh, but yeah, I mean, twelve thousand units, dude, this week. Twelve thousand units. Those that team, those teams made. What's going on? What's going on this weekend? Making more tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. So we're working. Uh, we're working. There'll be two shifts downstairs cutting and sublimation. Sorry, my phone's blown up. And then there will be two shifts on Sunday and cutting. Tomorrow there'll be one shift stitching. The, 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 all the ladies are so fast now and so efficient. The, 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 the cutting department, the bunker just can't keep up. So yeah, we're going to have well, to scale that up. You know, what I was going to say is, um, you know, you get – you know, I see, I see this a lot from a leadership perspective, right? Like some, you know, people, people are doing fine in the world. People, you know, as a leader, you're doing, you, you, I'd be watching a leader and you go, okay, they're, they're doing well. You know, they got it. 
But occasionally when things go wrong, there's like an opportunity for someone to step up, for a team to step up, for a platoon to step up, for a company to step up. And for me, and I, I feel horrible that I'm not there, but for me, watching you, watching the Origin team get, get, get put under pressure and then rise to the occasion, to me, that, that's America. And yeah, that's man. why you can never count America out. You can never count the American, the American worker out. You can never count out American ingenuity. And you can never count out America because this is what we do. We rise yeah. to the occasion. And Origin has proven that right now over and over again every single day. They've proven it 12,000 times so far this week. And they're going to prove it many more. <laughs> Absolutely. So awesome to be yeah, a part of, appreciate brother. appreciate that. Yeah, man. Freaking awesome. Awesome week. Appreciate uh, all the phone calls this week. Just right rapping up. about rap, rapping about ideas, you know, little tweaks. You could do this, you could do that. So all it's good, been man. fun. We got a little bit of the behind the scenes on video too, just so you know. Some oh. like like some of our conversations, you know, <laughs> where it's like the real real excited job. What? What? You know? <laughs> <laughs> right on, man. Awesome. Cool, awesome. brother. All right, man. We'll catch all you right. later. All right, Talk peace out. Out here. Yep.